Thank you so much. So we'll be solving this algebraic fraction. 3 over x minus 3 plus 5 over x plus 3 equal to minus 2. So first we look for the LCM. Find the LCM. The LCM of denominators of the denominators. The LCM is the LCM is the LCM mm -hmm. of this is x minus three and x plus three. So these are the LCM for this. This is the LCM for this. So now we multiply each term. Multiply each term by the LCM. So we can get rid of the fractions. So this is what I mean. This is the LCM. We're multiplying each by the LCM. So the LCM is x minus 3, x plus 3 times this 3 over x minus 3 plus x minus 3, the LCM, x plus 3 times this 5 over x plus 3 equal to equal to the LCM x minus 3 x plus 3 times x minus 3 x plus 3 times minus 2 so that is that I guess this is so long so we'll cancel out this x minus 3 we cancel out x minus 3 so what do we have left we have x plus 3 times 3 so let's just go straight to the multiplication 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 3 is 9 now plus x plus 3 can cancel out meaning can divide through this and will be left with x minus 3 times 5 so 5 times x is what 5x minus 5 times 3 is 15 so equal to equal to x minus 3 times x plus 3 is actually x squared minus 9 so times minus 2 I hope you understand I hope you understand that this times this is x squared minus 9 now times this so this is it so now we have 3x plus 9 plus 5x minus 15 equal to minus 2 times this is minus 2x squared minus 2x squared minus 2 times minus 9 is plus 18 so now since we have this let's collect like terms first we bring this minus 2x this way it becomes 2x squared no longer minus 2x so 2x squared and then 3x plus 5x is 8x. Now, out of our 9, plus 9 minus 15 is what? Plus 9 minus 15 is minus 6. Now, minus 6, this crossing over, minus 6 minus 18 will be minus 24. I don't know if you understand. I collected the like terms. First, the square, 2x squared, crossing over became 2x squared. Now 3x plus 5x is 8x. Plus 9 minus 15 is minus 6. Now minus 6, this crossing over becomes minus. So minus 6 minus 18. So we have 2x squared plus 8x minus 24. 
since they have something in common, two can divide this, two can divide this, two can divide this. So we divide three by two. So when it divides, you have s squared plus 4x minus 12. So what two numbers can we add or subtract to have plus 4x? So s squared, I guess what can help us is plus 6x minus 2x. Because plus 6 minus 2 will give you this. So we'll bring down our 12. So let's group them x times x, x squared, x times 6, 6x. Six, six now, what can we use here? 2. x plus 6, because what you have here, you must have here. So, 2 times x, 2x, so this times this, this. So, since we have this, our x minus 2 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 2, because the 2 crossing over the equal to sign becomes plus. And then we also have x plus 6, x plus 6, x plus 6, equal to 0, which means x is equal to minus 6, plus 6 crossing over becomes minus 6. So this, these are the answers. It's our answers. Yes, you can go through it to understand it better. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.